my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day and welcome to another Vlogmas video. Christmas is officially a week today. What? I, <laughs> I, I, I'm so excited, but as I said in my video yesterday, there's still quite a bit to do, but it's fine. The countdown is on. I'm so excited. Just a couple of days left at work and then it's time for Christmas fun to start. Before I jump into this video, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the kind messages on my video yesterday. I was a bit too tired to have been filming yesterday and I think that came across a little bit. So I filmed the video, edited it, and I took myself off to bed and I had a 10 hour sleep and I've woke up and I feel so much better and so much more revived and full of life. So thank you so, so much to everyone who was so kind in that video because honestly, it just made me feel a million times better when I was feeling a bit low. So thank you so, so much for that. In today's video, I thought we'd do another food shop haul. I did this not so long ago and you guys seem to really enjoy it and I had so much fun doing it. So I thought, why don't I do this on the regular? I don't think I'll do it as regular as like once a week or anything like that but this was a bit of a different food shop so I wanted to share it with you because we are going to be hosting my family on Thursday evening and then we're hosting for New Year's Eve so I've got a bit of a food shop for like food for the next couple of days before we go to Adam's parents for Christmas but I've also got a party food shop so I thought we could have a look at everything that we've bought we just spent the most money I've ever spent in Aldi I think it was like a hundred and 20 pounds which is not it's not awful for how much we've got i just you know aldi is the kind of shop that you expect to spend like 20 30 maybe 40 pounds in so when we got to the till i was prepared but i wasn't quite as prepared but i'm really excited to be hosting because we've been in this house now since april and we've only really been able to like host properly once for my birthday so i'm really excited it's the first time a lot of my family are seeing the house and then new year's eve is just special so we wanted to get some bits and we'll probably have to stock up on a few more bits for new year's eve depending on how much we get through on uh, like my family get together but that's absolutely fine so let's do that we're going to go through the stuff that we've bought for this week then we'll get onto the Christmas party stuff. Um, last one was from Tesco, which is where we do our normal food shop now, but we wanted to go to Aldi to get all these like little treat bits. So we thought, let's do an Aldi food shop this time. So let's jump on in. But if you enjoy this video, if you give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here and you want to subscribe and stick around, I'd love to have you. I make a lot of content about plus size fashion, life, vlogging. I had weight loss surgery in September, so I'm documenting that whole journey. So that's something you'll probably hear about when I'm talking about the food that we've picked for this week. So if you like the sound of that and you want to subscribe and stick around, I would love to have you. Okay, so let's get on with the food section and then we'll do the party section at the end. So let's just move left to right. The first thing that I picked up are these spring rolls. So we've got some duck and we've got some vegetable. And I thought that these would be really good for like just a little snack. They're not the like highest in protein or anything like that, which is something I need to focus on in my diet after having weight loss surgery. But they're also not too high in calories. Like they're 47 calories for a spring roll. So if I just wanted to have a little snack, like two of these would see me through a few hours. So I just thought that they're a fun lead up to Christmas, a little bit of a treat, not an everyday thing, and any that we have left over we can cook, cook up for when my family comes on Thursday. But I thought that would be just a fun, really easy, stick them in the oven kind of little treat. So we got those. I'm definitely more excited about the duck, but I thought since we've got um, some vegetarians coming for Christmas, then we've got both options. Then we've got a large pack of chicken breasts. So most meals we have have chicken in at the moment because I'm a bit fussy about food at the moment with sort of getting used to things after surgery whereas I can always eat chicken so we've got like stuff for a stir fry stuff for um a curry like lots of different bits that we can do with the chicken we've got some bacon probably more so for Adam than for me but I do love a bit of bacon here and there we've got some chicken satay skewers these are just amazing for me for when I don't know what I want for like lunch. So I'll usually have a couple of these with some carrots or some nuts and just build up a little bit of a picky plate for lunch. So I always have these and I got this one because it's a bigger pot than I normally get. It does come with some sauces um, but it's more about it's more about the chicken. In fact, I'm hungry. So let me have let me have a little chicken now. <laughs> but they're just so good for like quick hits of protein and they're super yummy too. Then I got a little rock salt grinder. We do have an electric like salt mill 
Um, I think they're called salt mills, salt grinder, but they didn't have any actual rock salt. So we've just got one of these to see us through until we can stock up on actual rock salt, like refillable to put in the, in the salt grinder thing. Got some carrot batons and some low fat hummus. Love this as a little snack. Then bread, you always need bread in the house. I'm struggling a bit with bread at the moment, which is something that is quite common after weight loss surgery. So sometimes I can have a slice of bread, like I'm gonna have a bit of toast for breakfast, but then like I tried to do that today and it just wasn't working for me. So I try and avoid having too much bread at the moment just because it's not working very well for my stomach. But Adam does have toast every day for breakfast, so we always have bread in. Got a pizza for Adam. I think these are one of his favorite pizzas, these ones from Aldi. They're like stone, wood-fired sourdough pizzas. They're fresh ones, not frozen. Um, so this is the spicy to eat, spicy Italian salami. And I've had this pre-surgery and I've had a bite of a slice of Adam's um, post-surgery and I can confirm gorgeous pizza. So if you're looking for a pizza in Aldi, I recommend these fresh ones. Then I got some more cooked chicken slices. This is just general, general chicken. Sometimes I'll have this with a bit of sweet chili sauce to dip it into. That's quite a nice lunch. Adam's favorite chocolate, in fact, the only chocolate Adam really eats is M&M's. So we always get in the bag of M&M's. This lasts him for ages though. Like me, back in the day before surgery, I'd just eat that in a sitting. Probably not the best, hence why I had surgery. Um, <laughs> but Adam will make that last for ages. I honestly don't know how he does it. Uh, some wraps. I've been enjoying making fake Nando's. I think I said that in my last food shop haul. So I probably have about half a wrap with some chicken, some sweet chili jam, um, and a bit of like Nando's sauce. So that's a really nice quick dinner. Then we've got stuff for a stir fry. So we've got a mixed pepper stir fry here. We've got the hoisin sauce. Then we've got some noodles. I do not have a lot of noodles. I focus on like the vegetables and the chicken, but I'd like to have just a little bit of noodles in there to make it feel like a, a proper stir fry, you know? Um, Adam, oh no, I just threw Adam's biscuits on the floor. Um, Adam's favorite biscuits are shortbread fingers. So every now and again, he'll treat himself to a pack of these. Again, he'll make them last for ages. He's got, he's got like, he's got strength when it comes to treats. <laughs> um, then we got this. This is the red Thai curry kit, which is really nice. Like I know you add your chicken and you add your rice, but this sauce in itself, half the pack is only 153 calories, which is really good. It's a bit high in fat, so I don't have it all the time, but it's nice. And I probably would have a quarter of this because usually Adam will have half of what I make and I have like a quarter and have some the next day. So it's not too bad, but it gives you like the coconut milk, the like curry paste and the spices. So I really like these little kits. I definitely recommend them. I've got a couple of bits for Adam. So some chicken Kiev. He loves a good Kiev. In fact, I love a good Kiev. I just can't really have them at the moment. Um, and then we got him a couple of microwave meals for lunch. So chicken and bacon pasta bake and chicken Arabiata, um, so that he's got some nice easy lunches. Got some more reduced fat soft cheese. So this is really good for like a lot of the pinch of non recipes have this in to make like creamy chicken. Then some chopped up pineapple chunks. I said before it's really in my last video it's really good. For 19th of December. When did way shush? When do these go off? To, oh tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's not as bad. I mean, it's still not great, but I thought they went, I thought today was the 20th for some reason. So I've got to get through all this pineapple today or tomorrow. Oh, I thought I was doing so well at looking at the sell by dates or the use by dates. And I just completely missed that. Okay. Well, I best get eating some pineapple then, hadn't I? Uh, <laughs> then a couple of last bits for the like food shop almonds. I finished my bag of almonds. This will last me like a couple of weeks, but Sometimes it's nice just to have a couple of little nuts to snack on. Then we've got some cheese strings. These are really good for a little protein on the go snack. A cheese string has 4.6 grams of protein. So they're super yummy. Chuck it in your handbag, have a little snack later on in the day. So we always try and have some cheese strings in and then some baby potatoes. Although these are feeling a bit soft. Hmm, we'll see how long these last for. So that is the food shop for the week. Obviously we're not here all week so it's a bit of a smaller shop and I might have missed a thing here or there or it might be that we already have it in the fridge so it is a bit of a smaller like weekly food shop but this this side this is the main event now what I will say is that I'm not going to be able to eat a lot of this 
um, because obviously I've had my surgery so I'll probably try a couple of little bits here and there have a couple of little treats but this is mainly for our guests so we've got me and Adam and then maybe like six or seven people coming on Thursday and then New Year's Eve we've got maybe four or five or six people coming so I wanted to be able to like we, we just wanted to be good hosts and have treats for everyone so I'm going to work through and show you what we've got and we'll I'll show you the alcohol at the end so firstly we've got a um, classic Italian inspired antipasto antipasto misto platter it's a meat platter it's a little meat platter we're going to be ordering food in so we've not got like dinner food but we've got snacks and cheeses and things like that speaking of cheeses we've got this little mini cheese selection so in here you get if i could open it you get half a brie you get a blue cheese and you get a mature cheddar so we thought that would be good for like cheese and crackers and then had to get this love love this on crackers this is the borson garlic and herbs if you've never had this it's so good it's a soft cheese really full of flavor so 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 good it's highly recommend then we got a savory snack mix so it's got like different pretzels and crackers and things like that in super affordable actually i think it's like one pound 20 or something and really really good for a party um we also got some of these savory crackers because i know that my brothers lived on ritz crackers when they were kids so i thought i'd get some of these as a bit of a like you know salute to childhood got i do have some other crackers already for the cheeses so i didn't need to stock up on those we've got some little treats so i got to lay around the table some chocolate coins and some candy canes it's christmas you've got to you've got to go all out with the treats we've got a box of sweet shop favorites let's have a look in here let's see what we've got okay so we've got we've got like refreshers oh this smells insane oh my god i sweets are the only thing i haven't had yet i haven't actually had any sweets since surgery um drumsticks uh squishies fizzlers palmer violets love hearts different kinds of lollipops oh my gosh i need to put this away this is a <laughs> that is smelling incredible so i thought that would be just really nice for everyone to dip into then we got classic you've got to get a box of fox's classic biscuits if you've got people coming around so this has got cookies chocolate biscuits cream crunches the viennese ones oh my god there's so many good things in this box now i'm gonna have to keep this out of my reach because i think this might be a thing where i accidentally just snack on too many whilst it's on the table and end up feeling a little bit queasy so i'll probably let myself pick one as a treat i think i'm gonna have to show myself some restraint like i think this is gonna be christmas is gonna be by far my biggest challenge because up till now i've been very in control of what's in front of me but at christmas there's gonna be so many goodies in front of me that i'm gonna have to just keep an eye on my snacking i think i'll be okay like i'm a lot more restrained with food than i was pre-surgery but i still think it might be a little bit of a challenge so if anyone out there has had weight loss surgery and has any recommendations for like tips and tricks to help you through the party season please let me know we got loads of crisps loads of crisps so we got two packs of these which adam loves and i love but they're definitely more for adam um sea salt and chardonnay vinegar crisps we've got two packs of those we got we got two packs of tortilla chips the cool and the chili we got also some kettle chips some mature cheddar kettle chips and then some dips so we got the sour cream dip and the mild salsa then the last couple of bits of food we've got a big box of maltesers because everyone loves maltesers at christmas you know but <laughs> this was me <laughs> Christmas marshmallows. I want to get the velvetizer out so that people can have hot chocolates. And I thought that if we're doing hot chocolates, we have to get some of these Christmassy themed marshmallows. Look at this big pile of food. Um, lemon and limes for people's drinks. And then some orange juice, partially because I love a little bit of orange juice, but also if I'm going to have like a glass of Prosecco, um, and we'll talk about alcohol in a minute. If I put Oh my god a cat's just turned up at our um door 
Like, we've got a little, like, patio door. Let me, let me get a video for you. Oh, the cat's gone. What? Oh, the cat's in the garden. I've not seen a cat around here before because we're a new build site. I just haven't seen it. But there's a little cat, let me show you. Roaming around the garden, having a great time. But it scared the life out of me, it really did. What are you doing? Where did you come from? Oh, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna get distracted now because all I wanna do is watch the cat. What are you gonna do? Are you, where are you gonna go? Are you trying to figure that out for yourself? You can't jump up there, can you? Can you? No. Hmm. Okay. Oh, are you gonna try? It looks like he's gonna try and jump up. Surely not. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh, the cat's just like walking along the top of the fence to its owner. So the cat is currently having a standoff with what I assume, it, the, the person who I assume is their owner. Um, it's just walking along the top of the fences. We've got new neighbours that have moved into the houses behind us that have now been built. Um, so I'm guessing the cat belongs to them because the, the guy's head just popped up over the fence. <laughs> this cat's having the time of its life just walking along the top of the fence. Right, okay, cat cam over. Let's get back to the, what we're doing here today and actually talk about the food. Sorry about that little interlude, but I got distracted by the gorgeous, gorgeous cat. Okay, so orange juice. Um, because I like a bit of orange juice and also if I want to have like a small glass of Prosecco I can put this in to flatten it because I'm not really meant to have anything fizzy and I haven't had a fizzy drink the only bit of fizz I've had is in a like half flat glass of Prosecco and the way that I get the fizz out of it or as much as I can is I put a bit of orange juice in and it seems to take away some of the fizz um, which leads, oh paracetamol for if people are hung over leads me on to the alcohol section so post weight loss surgery you should wait a while to have alcohol and then you should if you can the cat's still there try and limit your alcohol to an extent for a couple of reasons one it's like full of calories two because um like your stomach's smaller so you can get drunk a lot faster and three because of risk of transfer of addiction so if you don't know a lot of people that have weight loss surgery have problems with like food addiction and once the food element is removed it can quite easily be transferred into alcohol addiction so they do recommend that you try and limit your alcohol so I don't really have very much like we had a party for my friend's birthday and had a couple of glasses of Prosecco with the orange juice um I had one glass when we went to what to um London like I'm really not having a lot so to be honest this is mostly for other people but I'll probably have a glass, a glass and a half of Prosecco over the evening. Um, but I wanted to have stuff in for people. So I got some um, classic, what is this, County Cream, which is, you know, it's basically Bailey's, but Aldi's own version. Because you can't have a Christmas party with hot chocolates without Bailey's. I got a bottle of red and white. So I got some Malbec and some Chardonnay. And then I got two bottles of Prosecco. So I got a normal bottle of Prosecco and a rosé bottle. And we've got sort of spirits and things. Like we've got vodka and gin and all that already. So that should be us well set for a good party. And I'm so excited. Like it's going to be so nice to have my family here and then have our friends here for Christmas, for New Year's Eve. Um, so yeah, we probably went a little bit over the top. I just, I just don't get to host very often. So I wanted to be able to really enjoy it. So... That is it, <laughs> that is everything that we bought. Now I need to figure out where all this is gonna go, get it all in the fridge, get it in the freezer, put all the treats away. But I'm so excited to have everyone round. And yeah, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this and you want me to keep doing maybe like once a month a food haul video, then please let me know because I'll definitely be up for that. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time.